Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an Nginx reverse proxy on Windows Server 2019 running on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine. So simply click on get it now. And then you need to click on continue. And then after that, from this product page you need to click on create. Now that is going to take you to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. To choose the subscription that you have and then choose the resource group by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. And after that, choose a virtual machine name. So I'm going to call mine as engine X. After that, choose the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine. And then make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. And then finally choose the size according to your requirements. After that, you'd want to create an administrator account. Now this is the account that you would be using to connect to the RDP connection of your virtual machine. So give yourself a username. So I'm going to call mine as CIS admin and then provide yourself with a password. After that, simply click on review plus create. And then you would have to wait for the validation process to complete. Once the validation process is done, you want to click on this create button over here. After this, you would have to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, next what you want to do is that you want to establish an RDP connection with our virtual machine. For that, simply click on go to resource. And then from this overview page, simply click on connect and choose RDP. Now, simply click on download RDP file. And once the file is downloaded, simply click on it to launch RDP connection. So simply click on connect. Now it is going to ask you for the credentials. So you would have to click on more choices and then click on use a different account and then provide the credentials for the administrator account that you created, which was CIS admin and then the password. And if you are prompted, simply click on yes. And then you would have to wait for the connection to be established and for the Windows server to completely load. Once the Windows server has completely loaded, you want to open up a file explorer, click on this PC and then head inside the C directory. And in here you can see a folder named as nginx. Now in this folder, what you want to do is that you want to start the nginx. So for that, simply click on this URL and type in cmd and then hit enter. Now this is going to open up the command prompt in nginx directory. Now to start the nginx service, you want to type in the command start space nginx.exe and then hit enter. Now your nginx is up and running. If you really want to confirm that, Simply open up this Internet Explorer and then type in the URL as http colon forward slash forward slash localhost port number 80 and then hit enter. Now as you can see that nginx is running. Now if you want to set up a reverse proxy, what you need to do is that you need to head inside the nginx directory and head in the folder named as conf for configuration. And then you want to right click on nginx.configuration and click on open with. After that, simply click on try an app on this PC and then choose notepad to open the configuration file. Now in this file, you're going to scroll down to this server tag. Now as you can see that our nginx is listening on the server name localhost and the port number 80. Now what I want to do is that whenever the user comes to this localhost and port number 80 or let's just go with 8080, then I want to redirect it or reverse proxy it to google.com. So for that, I would simply increase the port number to 8080. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to simply copy this line, which says proxy pass and paste it under the location tag after removing the two lines inside it. And then I want to proxy it to google.com. So therefore I'm going to type in www.google.com. And after that, I'm going to save my configuration file, exit from it, head back to the command prompt and type in the command engine X dot exe space hyphen t now this command is going to check for the syntax of configuration files so you can see that the syntax is okay which means that now if i restart my nginx then my reverse proxy would also be set up so simply type in start space nginx dot exe and then hit enter now our nginx reverse proxy is also set up open up the web browser and in here simply type in localhost and then add the port number 8080 and then hit enter. Now as you can see that 
we have been redirected or reverse proxied to google.com. Anyways, that was how to set up Nginx reverse proxy on Windows Server running on Azure. That also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And also make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for Azure and also for the step by step blog post guide on how to set up Nginx on Azure. And lastly, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.